Long stroke gas operated reloading system. The most famous gun using the long stroke system is obviously the AK-47. But many other guns such as the M1 Garand, the FN Mag and many Mi machine guns also use it. This is a typical long stroke system. The bolt carrier assembly is connected by a long operating rod to the piston, housed in a cylinder extension and with the piston head inside the cylinder which in turn is part of the gas block. In this version of the system, the recoil spring is coaxial to the op rod. As the gun is fired, the bullet travels down the barrel, and as it passes the gas block, the gas bleeds off the barrel through the port in the block and cylinder. The pressure drives the piston back, and excess gas is then vented through bleed off holes on the cylinder extension. The whole assembly of piston, op rod, bolt carrier travels back under the energy impulse of the gas and cycles the gun ejecting the spent case and loading a fresh round in the chamber and locking the breech. This gun uses a classical rotating bolt action with two locking lugs. The main advantage of the long stroke system is that since bolt carrier, op rod and piston are assembled in a single part and moves during the whole firing cycle, the added mass increases momentum and therefore increases the availability of the firing cycle without adding to the total weight of the firearm. Main disadvantage is a lower level on inherent accuracy due to a larger moving mass influencing control of the firearm, especially at the start and ending of the bolt travel and the gas block acting as a fulcrum lever that heavily influences the barrel during the shooting cycle. By the way, the gun we used as an example is a fairly rare SIG Sturmgewehr 540. It's a 5.56 caliber assault rifle that was the base for the much more famous 550 or Sturmgewehr 90 of the Swiss Army.